This is the optional content tutorial. This tutorial shows how to use and create optional content for the report writer. Let's briefly review what optional content is and how it works in the report writer. The report writer is smart. In other words, it looks at your analysis file and determines what text should and should not be in the final report. One of the ways it does this is through optional content. In other words, there's blocks of text in the template that are linked to the analysis file that are turned on and off depending on the specific situation or the engagement that you used. Let's see how all of this works. To see how optional content works, we're going to have to open a template. So let's open one of the default report templates that comes with the program. Let's open up the 5960 template and see how this works. When the template comes up, let's find the first piece of optional content. It's text that begins with the word optional. So search for optional. The first optional content is the RMA peer comparison. You'll notice it's a command that has a beginning and ending chevron. There'll be some text and then there'll be an end optional with the exact same name as the beginning piece. In other words, RMA peer comparison is the name of this optional content. It must be unique and the end optional command must have the exact same ending. The text in between the beginning and ending in optional commands is the text that will appear or not appear in the report. Let's turn the command navigator on to help us understand how optional content works. Select the show navigator button. You may have to select the middle button in the command navigator to get the edit command buttons to appear. Once the edit command buttons and options are available, you can see what the optional content cell is. In this case, it's report writer B37. The way optional content works is, if the optional content cell in Excel is true, the text between the beginning and ending commands will appear in your report. If the optional content cell is false, that text will not be included in the report. Let's take a look at the cell that this optional content is linked to. In other words, the optional content cell is Report Writer B37. If we select the Go to Cell button, we'll be taken to the Report Writer Links page. And you'll notice that the cell is true. To the left is some text that says Use RMA Data. That's just some text that helps us know what that cell is. If you wanted to see how the cell was calculated, you could select the Edit in Excel button and take a look at the formula that's calculating the cell. The templates that come with the Report Writer contain hundreds of links to optional content. Some of them are very simple. For example, the RMA peer comparison only contains a paragraph or two. However, some of the optional content contains many, many paragraphs. For example, each valuation method is surrounded by optional content commands. This way, if you use the method, it can be explained correctly in the report. If you didn't use the method, it can be excluded. Or a paragraph can be included that says you considered the method but rejected it. Optional content blocks can be nested. In other words, within one optional content block, you can have other optional content blocks. If the optional content block is pointing to a cell it contains false, none of the text between the beginning and ending optional content commands will be included in the report. However, if the cell that the optional content command points to has a true in it, all of the text between the beginning command and ending command will be included. But note that if there's other optional content blocks within the optional content block, each one will be evaluated individually to see if its text should be turned on or off. If you understand how optional content blocks work, you can add optional content blocks either to the existing templates or your own templates. Let's review the steps to put optional content into a template. The first step is to create a cell in your analysis file that contains a true or false that will tell the report writer whether to include or exclude that specific piece of text. Let's insert one. The first thing we want to do is go to the Analysis tab and pick a cell that's going to evaluate whether this piece of text is going to be included or excluded in our report. Let's go to the Report Writer Links tab and select the Use RMA Data, True or False. Remember, you can build your own true or false statements to create your own optional content. Once you select the cell, select the Copy Link button. Go back to the Report tab and select the Paste Optional Content option. You need to put a unique name in for your optional content. 
we'll call it my OC1 for my optional content one. And we'll also enter a description. The description just lets you know what the optional content is for. It's just used for your own clarification. Once you select OK, the optional content block will be inserted in your report. Notice there's a begin command that starts with optional and an end optional command. You can highlight any piece of text that you want, cut it, and put it in between the optional content. Remember, if the cell that we use for the optional content is true, the text between the begin and the end optional content will be included in the report. If the cell we use for the optional content block is false, the text will not be included. If there's just a few optional content commands in your template, it's easy just to go through the text and see how the begin and end optional content commands work. Or, select on an individual command, go to the navigator, and see the optional content cell and change it. However, if there's dozens or hundreds of optional content commands, especially if they're nested, it may be easier to go to the optional content navigator, select refresh, and have the navigator build you a list of all the optional content commands in the template. Once the navigator list is built, not only can you see all of the optional content commands and see if they're nested, but you can also see whether the link cell is on. If this link cell is true, you'll see a green thumbs up. If the link cell is off, you'll see a red thumbs down. You can also click on the individual optional content command and you'll be taken to that command in the report itself. This makes it easy to navigate through the list of optional content commands. This is the end of the optional content tutorial.